Hey guys, Bert here. So, I had some people reaching out to me asking me, hey, what do you use exactly for your 3D printing setup? What kind of machines do you use? I know you talk about using a Robo 3D, but what exactly do you, your, is your setup that gives you such, you know, great success and all that fun stuff? Well, the answer is very, you know, straightforward. It's this. Ah, it's not working. Okay, there we go. And here she is. This is my little personal unit that I have at home. Um, you know, everything down to the Fancy Elmer's glue, my little toolbox, my LCD controller, scraper, and a crap load of filament because I go through a lot of filament at home. Um, and then my copyrighted prop pipe or copper pipe that I use, you know, that's, you know, because it's super fancy. I'm actually, you know, planning on replacing that. It was just something I did at home, and this is an old computer table that, you know, I was able to retrofit. Anyway, this is the unit that I use at home uh, for projects that require a lot of attention or, you know, I'm on a really tight schedule and I'm not over the studio, so I need to work on it here. Um, plus, it makes it easy, obviously, to set stuff to start printing overnight. And only having one of these in my apartment, it's a lot better than having, you know, eight of them, you know, somewhere else where it sounds like, you know, you're running a vacuum cleaner all night and it's really loud. But um, let's go down here. So we have my super fancy um, XXL LCD controller from Printed Solid. I love this thing. It's like 60 bucks. And you can use this to do just about anything you need. You can go everything from auto home, click that, and it'll automatically home itself. And you can, you know, preheat your PLA, cool down, switch power. And you also can do um, a really nice feature that this has is, let's say you're in the middle of printing and you're about to run out of filament. There is a function when you're printing that you can hit switch filament and it will lock everything at least it should perfectly lock everything and then you can swap out your filament and uh yeah then you don't have to worry about you know uh screwing it up and you can actually just keep on going and that's a really cool function that i like about this thing but yeah little um sd card plugs in there this housing here i 3d printed this you can find this on yegi or thingiverse it's free um highly recommend it, it comes with these little leg lifters too here so it sits um but I love this thing. It works really good. Um, you know, you get your, your trusty scraper, Elmer's glue. Do not ever work without this stuff. I have this stuff that's, I think it's purple. Arr, trying to open this with my hands is very difficult. Come on, there we go. So yeah, so it doesn't really matter if it's the stuff that turns purple. It's all washable. And then here's my print bed. My print bed actually may look really messy, but in all actuality, I haven't cleaned this print bed for probably like six months. I add more glue when I need to, but I never really clean it off. And I'll tell you what, I have to like scrape off the stuff I have to use. Sometimes this part doesn't work. I actually have to use the metal end or use a small uh, mallet that I have here, a rawhide mallet to get the pieces unhooked just because of how hard they stick to the print bed. But, and all in all, that's what we use. So yeah, guys, I'm really happy to show that to you. That's what I use. It's really simple. It's cost effective. We got this thing off of Amazon. Wasn't very expensive. And you can get it now for like 750 bucks and you can get six kilograms of Robo 3D filament which their filament is actually top notch. It really, really is. It's also kind of expensive. However, I like to use my hatch box just because the stuff is cheap. It's readily available. I can get it overnighted from Amazon because there's an Amazon facility right down the road. And you know, at 25 bucks a roll, it's not bad. So I hope that answers any questions other people might have. And until next time, guys, I'm Bert from Pixel Armory, and I'll see you guys later.